Gentleman's recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise this morning to speak out in favor of reforming our health care system to guarantee that every citizen has access to the care that they need when and where they need it at a price they can afford to pay. People like Jenny, who's a single mother of two asthmatic children, who I got the fortune of taking care of. Two asthmatic children, but they couldn't afford at their household the price of the prescription drugs they needed to keep their children healthy. People like Mary, with rheumatoid arthritis, so severe that she's an expensive date to the insurance companies, and for which no other insurance company would take her because of her pre-existing condition. People like Stacy, who had cancer of her thyroid and had it surgically cured, and yet, and yet because of her pre-existing condition would be denied access to the care that she needs. And finally, people like a six-day-old child named Hope, who at six days of age, through no fault of her own, had to have heart surgery to correct a heart deformity. We're going to change this health care system and guarantee that no one shall suffer from discrimination any longer in this country. For purposes